Jason can start the Where lights. So that yes. Oh, the place looks all lit up out here. Yeah. Mm. Very nice. A lot of, you have a lot of stuff. You have a chemist, and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. you have the HDFC bank out here. You know, for the ATM, mm -hmm. which we can use in Kalyani Nagar, right? Yeah. So where are we going? It's a lovely township. Are we going? going for a drive? And let's see what we can find. Let's go to let's go to yeah. Koregaon Park. Yeah, yeah. good okay, idea. Super. Yeah, Koregaon Park. We are passing the Okay, so guys, we are just sitting clinic. in the car, we are just chilling out. So we are not going to show you outside, but we are just going to talk about which all places we are going. Not what all really. we see. Yeah, what all we see. But yeah. we are not going to show you because like this camera is fixed. It's a mobile camera which is fixed on the dashboard. Oh, yeah. and there's a pothole. It's a new road, but still a pothole. Yeah, work in progress. They are like getting the roads done up and. Noise because a lot of construction going around. Sorry about the the bumpy road. Bumpy road and also the noise. Yeah. Okay, so we're done with that road. <laughs> that road which is rubble, like rubble, and rubble. And and rubble. <laughs> we are on the Kalyani Nagar uh, Koregao Park Bridge. They are basically repairing the road. And so. we are coming towards the western. Oh, yeah, it's sorry guys, I won't be able to show you. Okay, now we are turning right to Koregao Park. And uh, see this guy, how he's breaking the signal. <laughs> how do you like that? Breaking the see, law. This guy is breaking the law, breaking the signal, whatever have you. Now we went around the happening place in Pune, Koregao Park. So let's go, let's have a look. All I can see is lots of traffic and lots of people. It's nice, huh? This road is much smoother. Yeah. Isn't it? It's smoother, it doesn't make so much noise. No, yeah. the, true, true. Even, even the key is not playing up with us. Yeah, or what is one? The keychain also makes a lot of noise. Yeah. It just goes on banging everything here mm -hmm. and there on the dashboard. There are still a little bumps in the bumps it, yeah. on the roads. We need to straighten it out. Yep. I, I can feel it. So So what do we do? We just go straight down or we turn left and we just do a detour of Korigo Park. We'll just go for Have a drive. That's it, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. It's a city drive, not really. No, you want to far. see what people are doing, what everyone are up to. It's a Friday evening, and um, okay, it's 20th of Jan, and it's a very good day because it's the beginning of the year. Although we are making a video after a very are long time, after 20 days. Yeah. So what we are doing? We've been napping in the new year. <laughs> napping. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is beautiful. Catching uh, up on a beauty sleep. Yeah. Oh, lots of shops. Yeah. And so, sorry, we can't show you that side because. Missing Our GoPro is just missing. taking us. Her name is Tigda, by the way, and she has her own channel which is called Just for Fun. How did you decide to make YouTube videos? Well, um, I so I used to go on YouTube quite a bit, mm -hmm. and um, I saw a lot of videos and I saw a lot of people talking about themselves and doing things that they like and enjoy and sharing it, and uh, I liked that. I enjoyed that. So I thought, like, why not? You know, why, why can't I in, uh, like to? Why would I not want to share something? I would also like to share something nice with people and have a community, and you know, and uh, make some friends and have some people also, you know, give me some feedback on their thoughts. And um, yeah, so that's how I started. Uh, uh, it's nice. I so it's been how many enjoy. months or years you've been? You've Actually, been doing... I started off in May. 2022 mm -hmm. and uh, well it's not looking back i'm still doing it because <laughs> i'm enjoying it actually. so i know how many subscribers you have yeah. and people who want to ask her how many subscribers you have yeah. you'll have to go check her channel. her channel so she has a lot of subscribers basically what do you do in your channel what is your channel all about it is just for fun so what kind of fun do you have on your channel all kinds all kinds of stuff of course my my favorite uh, topic is my pets in which i see and uh, animals which i love and have fun but i've seen your videos you're more than saying you just take your videos with the with the songs and you just put it on so you don't talk really but i've seen uh, some of your videos which is huffed so what's the full form of huff? Full form of half. It heads up for tails. That's right. They are uh, boutiques. Mm -hmm. Would you like to say, for, especially for pets and uh, those who are animal lovers, and you know, uh, garments and all sorts of goodies for uh, you know, right from their food and you know, 
clothing, everything. You get everything there. Uh, you mean the dog shops. food, cat food, yeah, and everything? Yeah, yeah, right? dog food, so cat it's food. Da- so dogs, one-stop food shop is cats. for dogs yeah, and cats, that's right. And um, having said that, they also have uh, for, um, you know, uh, sort of uh, grooming, yeah, mm-hmm. grooming facilities. For so when you talk about grooming, what, what do they have in grooming? Everything, shampooing, you know, mm-hmm. a haircut, and just like how, how you and me go to the saloon <laughs> and have ourselves groomed. Well, even our pets have themselves groomed. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, other than that, they also have swimming pool. Oh. Yeah, they have a swimming pool facility at, at the, you know, on the facility of this. Mm-hmm. And the pets really have a ball, you know, enjoying themselves swimming around paddling around and then they teach them to swim also especially the small little puppies so yeah it's fun it's okay fun. I want to ask you one thing yeah. why are all your videos in the night why not in during the day <laughs> because I'm working during the day <laughs> to be honest but no I will make it a point to you have to make use of the daylight why don't you make of use of the daylight because night time first of all you don't show yourself you only show the dogs yeah Dog yeah. lovers are interested in dogs. What about the guy? What about the people? I think they're, they're interested, <laughs> interested in, the, in the dogs more, in the animals. They love okay. to see the animals. They enjoy. I mean, me to showcase myself? No, I think that would be a little bit too egoistic. And I would rather showcase pets and uh, what I enjoy watching animals and uh, being animal lovers. So I'm sure they will enjoy the same thing. That's that's the reason why I don't want I don't want the spotlight on myself. Um, yeah. So I would rather have the spotlight on our pets and share it with everyone. Yeah. So since how long you've been feeding the dogs and taking care of the dogs and the cats? Whatever, because I've seen cats and dogs in your videos. Yeah, since I've been a little before this, but uh, since I... Before? I've, yeah. So describe before. That's for me to. That's no. I'm not sweating. That's for me to know and for you to find out. Okay. If you're really interested, then you'll have to go to my channel and check it out. And I'd like to thank my subscribers. They've been so very kind. So many thanks, mm-hmm. and uh, that you all are enjoying and you all are sharing this with me. It's a great moment for me to share it with somebody. And besides my husband, and of course all of you guys. And I'm loving it. And I hope you all continue to enjoy and watch and be able to entertain you all with not only our pets, animals, and also with uh, what we do on, you know, on a time-to-time basis. Whenever we have the time and we like to share where we go, what we do and uh, how we enjoy ourselves, what fun we have. Well, I've made other videos like, uh, you know, like I said, what we do, you know, in our free time. Yeah, yeah, that's Okay, right. so what about Koi Salon? I mean, what? Koi Salon is about uh, this uh, young couple that is uh, Pooja and uh, Vivek, right? And Pooja's mom, who came, who's, who have started this salon, and they are entrepreneurs and very new to the trade. But though they have experience, and uh, Pooja's mom used to have a salon uh, for very many years, and then Pooja also has, uh, for, you know, uh, followed in her footsteps, and her husband has joined her in that venture too. And they're budding entrepreneurs, which I would like to see them grow, and I wish them all the very best. And which I, I feel they will go a very, very long way and do very well going forward. Mm, so, I, and Satish also was there with me. Yeah, right? again, I said, as yeah, as uh, I told you all, like, I'm yeah. the cameraman, so I was the cameraman over there as well. Yeah, and my partner in crime. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? So, yeah, so this is about this couple and uh, Pooja and her husband. And Pooja is the. Is the my hairdresser and uh, she's very good she has a lot of potential and she has she wishes to have more branches all over not only in Pune but also in Coimbatore like she had oh, mentioned yeah, yeah. this is a uh, 11 Corrigo Park Road again and we are moving towards the camp area of Pune which uh, I think being a weekend and Friday evening people seem to be moving towards yeah, the camp yeah so what is called Mahatma Gandhi Road MG Road. It's very well known. Mm-hmm. So let's see where everyone's going. We're following. Follow the leaders. <laughs> right now. Right right Be careful. All right. So all railroads lead to MG Road. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and 
Pune. So we are also going there. Let to see what's going on. Oh my gosh, just look at the two wheelers. We have to be careful. Uh, how old is this area? And uh, because I've heard the British Times, this yeah. area and all that. Yeah. So yeah. now you tell me it's, about this area. It's old. It's quite old. It's quaint, and it's um, I think close to from where I know. I would say nineties, um, eighties. But uh, yeah, it's been there much before that, and it was uh, it wasn't like this before. Because uh, before that was British for years, so there are a lot of lot of buildings which still have the uh, British looks and British buildings, and you know, uh, very unique. A lot of buildings are still standing, surprising. I think 200 years or 150 years minimum. That's the Victory Theatre, one of the oldest theatres in Pune, and we are on East Street. Uh, I think we can go straight down and then turn from there. Okay. Yeah. You have bath bar and restaurant, a lot of restaurants, bakeries, and um, boutiques, stores. Eatery joints. I can see a plus size store. Yeah. Yeah. And you have so what? Ray Bans. Mm, yeah. A lot of eateries, basically. You know. Cafe coffee there, I can see from here. So we're going straight. Let me take a turn. Just passed an MG Hector show. Uh, it's going to be 8 o'clock. So 8 o'clock can be driving. That's Whirlpool, isn't it? And we can't Whirlpool. You had a stint with Whirlpool, no? Yeah. So I worked for Whirlpool a long time back in 2006. Okay. We have Thousand Oaks. We must visit this place, yeah? Thousand Oaks. It's a pub. Alright. So we hope you like this. Uh, show of us this uh, drive that we drive, want to share yeah. with you and uh, what's happening in town. So any, or they and can if comment. you like it, please comment and subscribe. I'm taking something more for you all. So I hope you'll like it. Running, oh, super Iranian cat. <laughs>